And, and that is, I guess, is what I tease going into my forecast. I promise to break it to you gently. We're not talking about snow at good, this point. Good. Okay. Even though it is happening in portions of the country. However, we are, are going to be affected by that area of low pressure that is marching towards northeast Ohio over the next 24 to 36 hours. But nice and balmy is what I'm going to describe at least the next few hours here across northeast Ohio, going from the upper 60s right now into the low 60s by sunrise for tomorrow. So let's take a look at what the contiguous U.S. looks like at this point. You're going to see a couple things on here. You're going to want to scratch your head and say, hey, Jason, what is that? Well, let's first talk about that area of low pressure that has brought portions of the country into some early season snowfall. That very dramatic area of low pressure is centered, of course, over towards the Dakotas at this point. That that cold front is stretching all the way down south to Texas, and it is headed our way fast and furious. We're on a leading edge of it right now, and because of because we have some moisture with it, with some colder air here, of course, it's bringing some snowfall here. But rising humidity is expected across northeast Ohio, at least over the next 12 to 24 hours, because that warm front that you see there is going to be lifting north across the area early tomorrow morning. Your day parts tomorrow morning, tomorrow evening, even Friday morning, Friday evening are also going to be looking different as well. Your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. Notice here we have another area of low pressure building in. We get rid of the ridge of high pressure that's brought us the very nice, calm, stable air we've had across across the area for the past couple of hours. Once we get into late tomorrow into early Friday, we start to increase our cloud cover. We also increase the threat for some light to moderate rainfall. Starting out with some showers late for late tomorrow night into early Friday. As we wake up on Friday, though, still have the humidity around trough building in front edge is closed to us by midday into Friday afternoon. That, of course, increases our storm threat as well. If we get some breaks in the clouds, get a little bit more sunshine, that could be the recipe for even some strong storms. We have heat and humidity already, already breaks in uh, some cloud cover, sunshine. Yeah, we can talk about some rumbles as well. This takes us through Friday morning, midday. Notice the heavier rain still across portions of northwest Ohio. And then into Friday afternoon, we increase that threat across northeast Ohio. As of right now, the Storm Prediction Center has us a one out of five. That is a marginal risk. And I do have on here the threat for some moderate to heavy rainfall and some of the heavier downpours. Also, some gusty winds cannot be ruled out. We can easily accumulate anywhere from one to three inches. Some of that rainfall is going to be in the highest and even some of the most stronger thunderstorm activity, but again, that's late Friday into early Saturday. For now, low 60s overnight, a few clouds out there, perhaps even seeing the northern lights. And come tomorrow, we're doing it yet again. We're talking about hitting upper 70s and perhaps even 80 degrees in the northeast Ohio region. Friday, upper 70s, 60s widespread with the front coming in. The biggest changeover is going to be 40s, even 60s with more sunshine next week. We'll continue next.